Well, what started 35 years ago by some laid off coal miners wanting to help their neighbors has continued as a mountain Christmas tradition. That two night Tri City Emptying Stocking Fund auction wrapped up last night in Harlan County. WYMT's Matthew Rand was there. Volunteers took to the air Thursday for the Tri City Empty Stocking Fund auction. The auction was broadcast on community access television and streamed on the web. One notable absence was the organization's founder, Jim Muggins Bennett, whom we were told stayed home Thursday due to health issues. Started in 1980, Muggins started it up whenever uh, he and some other coal miners got laid off. They started out, I think, with a smaller number of baskets. It was maybe 30 or 40, and then it's just grown over the years. 35 years later, the charity plans to provide 600 baskets of food to families in need this Christmas, along with toys for underprivileged children. And actually, in my younger years, I was one of the benefits of the auction, um, coming from a low-income family, and this is just something that's needed in our area. People from near and far, including some National Honor Society students from Harlan County High School, volunteered their time to help make the auction a success. I tell you what, Eastern Kentuckians are a, a rare breed. We're people who help each other when we need it, especially in times where things are really tight, when things are tough. So it's always good to see people giving back to people, especially Christmas time. It is the most wonderful time of the year, and it's a good time to remember others, especially those who are in need hoping to meet the needs of the community and make this Christmas just a little bit brighter. In Harlan County, Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News. And volunteers say it could be a couple days before they figure out the total amount of money that auction raised. The toys and food baskets will be handed out December 19th. Well,